Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Pard. You're watching iRide.net. And I'm Fred Rao from FredRao.com. Now, Fred and I are old buddies. Now, he's here on a spider tour. He's doing a coast-to-coast -coast ride, starting in Florida, gonna go all the way back to California. Decided to come down here, spend an evening, sit here, we're gonna talk about bikes. Do you remember the first time we met? Uh, we First time we met was down in Miami. We did a ride to Key West together with Kawasaki. I honestly don't remember what bike we were testing it that year. It might have been the 800s. Uh, I think it might have been the Vulcan 800 or maybe one of the new drifters because you're, you're talking 15 years ago. Probably. Well, simply, yeah. simply stated, we've been friends ever since. But today we're going to talk about Fred's latest project. Fred, i got to tell you, I'm not blown away that much by a lot of the things I see online, but your new project is something I truly feel is the shape of things to come. What you can do, you. before we get into it, you're gonna see this address up. I'm gonna to wanna to pop it up now. It's fredrow.com. When you go to that page, you'll see a lot of Fred's, uh, Fred's businesses and enterprises, but click on the Fred Rao Motorcycling link. Fred, what do you got going on there? Well, uh, as you know, I've been a magazine editor, motorcycle magazine editor for 40 years. Uh, and back uh, the old wing world days and road rider and motorcycle consumer news and, and all those. Um, and retired from that some, a few years back. But uh, I've now started an online magazine and it looks, uh, kind of feels like uh, a regular magazine, but it comes up on your, uh, on the screen of your computer. Uh, modeled it after uh, very much the way I did MCN uh, for almost 20 years. Uh, no commercial advertising in the magazine uh, so that we can give straight talk uh, no influence from the OEMs, that sort of thing. But, but you know something, Fred, I'm going to jump in there. Sure. A lot of people don't realize. Now, you and I have both been on the other end of the spectrum here, we know, whether it's editors, producers, whatever. There is influence these days in magazines. And, and I'm, I'm sorry to say it, that lots of times when people read reviews, they don't know where it's coming, which is why I've always valued MCN. And when people like you go online with an opinion because it's a pure opinion. How do, you, how do you address that point in this day and age? Well, first of all, I'm not going to say it's pure. I appreciate that, okay. but uh, we all have our biases. We mm -hmm. all have our opinions, and, and what we say is colored by that. But what I don't want is the fact that uh, suppose a, a certain manufacturer comes out with a bike uh, or product, whatever, that uh, I feel is inherently flawed, unsafe, or whatever, um, you know, if they are providing 30% of my total yearly financing with their advertising dollars, it's like I've got a gun to my head, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, and I don't want that. I don't ever want that kind so of pressure. So they cannot hold you hostage to provide a review that you're not comfortable doing. Exactly. I, I want to be able to speak my mind and the guys that are working with me. Uh, and they're all, I should say, hand-picked people that I've worked with over the past 40 years in the industry. So people that, that I know, that I can trust, and people that are going to give me straight dope all the time. Now, one of the things that I truly appreciate about your online magazine is the format you're using. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I'm, just, I'm still learning myself, but uh, I, I actually attempted this a year ago, uh, but the formatting just looked terrible. I had the content, but it was difficult to read, difficult to navigate, uh, and then uh, learned about the flipbook technology, which is becoming so popular. I understand the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, and uh, a lot of other people are going to this same uh, the same new technology, which allows you to actually make the pages as a video, uh, so that they look like the actual pages of a magazine. You create them like the actual pages of a magazine, and they actually you actually turn the pages to go through it. And I think it looks really neat. Now, while I can't provide a full animation of what it looks like, you need to go on and check it out. But as you'll see, we have some photos up here that are showing you what it looks like. In fact, one thing that's amazing, you know, it does feel when you go page to page, like you are turning pages in a magazine. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you have a choice of turning on or off the sound. It actually makes the sound of a page turning <laughs> when you turn the page. That technology is wonderful, isn't it? Now, uh, the one thing I know that, bit, and, and this took me the first time that I took a look at it, and I, you made me one of your beta users, that you need to make sure you go to full screen mode. Yeah, yeah, because when it first comes up, it looks kind of small, but uh, there's a navigation bar down at the bottom. You just click on that and it goes to the to the full screen mode. And by the way, now, uh, before uh, we were kind of asking people to buy a pig and a poke because 
they didn't know what they were getting if they went to if they subscribed to the magazine and it is a subscriber based magazine but now uh, just as of this week we have a sample issue on the home page so you can actually see the very magazine that you're going to be getting so you just go to the home page you can go to fredrow.com then click the um, Fred Rao Fred Rao motorcycling. motorcycling yeah. Then you'll see that the, the uh, you have an icon there of yeah, your that free says, sample. Yeah, uh, that says see a free sample issue, and it's actually just last month's issue. As a matter of fact, it's the issue featuring the Spider RT. So the Spider RT is on the cover of it. Yeah. That's ironic, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. It's perfect. Okay, now let's talk about prices and the frequency of the magazine. Uh, the the price is twenty four dollars a year for unlimited access. So two dollars a month, I guess, if you want to use real marketing savvy, you know, to try to sell it. But uh, that's just to recoup the production costs uh, because, as I said, I don't want to take advertising dollars. So, And how often will you be producing a new issue? Uh, I, I expect to have an issue out approximately every four to five weeks. So, okay. And, you know, the other thing I noticed, because, you know, again, both of us worked in, in the print industry in the past. You know, if a new product was announced, and, of course, lots of times the press get it on an embargo basis, meaning right. we, we get it in advance. By the time of the announcement to the time you see it in a print magazine, it can be four months. Easily. Now, how will that differ on your e-zine since well, you don't have publishing time? Yeah, that's one of the beauties of an e-zine or electronic magazine and why I wanted to get into this new technology is, uh, and again, see, so you were talking about how often. Well, how often it comes out may depend on what kind of news we've got. Mm -hmm. I do not have to stick to specific publishing deadlines because I don't have that, to print. That, that's a pleasure, yeah. isn't it? And the other real beauty of it, I do not have space restrictions. When oh. I was a magazine editor, you knew you had so many column inches that you could use and you had to pick and choose or you might have to take an article and split it up into two or three parts or something. Mm -hmm. No more of that. You know, it, we can use whatever space we need and we can put it out whenever we want. So okay. I encourage you to take a look at it again. Go to fredrow.com Click on the Fred Rao Motorcycling link, and then from there, check out the free issue. Fred and our old friends, I hope you subscribe. I did, and let me tell you something, a lot of good information. Fred, I wish you a lot of success Thank on you, it. Thank you, Andy. For iRide.net, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and don't forget, stop by fredrao.com.